Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons where we are on our super windy day, unfortunately. So tomorrow is going to be, oh, Kai's birthday. Nice. Just need to sort that out. So yeah, we're going to go to bed straight away. Nom, nom, nom. It's a much nicer day today. It's not raining, so I'm going to have to water all the crops myself. Oh, I thought I'd have an upgraded house today, but got clearly needed an extra day because of the storm. Ugh, please don't have... So oh, I've got to harvest all my pineapples and all of my corn and all of my tomatoes manually. Yay! Today's going to be a fun day. Out you come. I might not actually get around to doing any brushing or anything like that. However, we were lucky the storm didn't hurt any of my crops. So that's a blessing in disguise. Because I did these pineapples on the first day, I think I might be in for a second crop be absolutely amazing. It means I do get the option of uh, choosing whether I keep these for the Harvest Goddess, but honestly, I think I need the money more. Also, she loves me like 10, ten musical notes. That's all I need, right? I need to be giving her special presents. Okay, so I think today um, I might, well, actually, I might not do it today. We'll see. But I think one thing that I may do today is to make, get the, the, butter mar the but butter marker, the butter maker started up. So we've done the sickle now. The Everything else is nowhere near. Got lumber and things to put away. I'm going to... Go and harvest all the pineapples. I want to see how much all the pineapples sell for. Because I'm very greedy like that. Oh gosh, I need to make sure. Oh, the chickens are out. Cool. Are the cows and things out? Yes, nice. Okay, so pineapples to be sold. I'm going to sell all of them. 22,000s worth of pineapples! Hurrah, I might be able to buy that. Uh, is it a truth gem in the shop? I think I might be able to buy it. Truth, I think there's 10 truth gems to collect. I don't know how many I've got. However, I will warn you, I have been told that uh, it might not be worth me trying to collect all of them. I think there are some hidden behind some very nasty stuff. Uh, some very long weights and things like that, so it, it might not be worth my while. Right, so one thing that I'm going to say is that even if not, I don't manage to water everything today, I want to water the pineapples. Stop munching my pineapples, you! They're an incredibly lucrative crop. If I can keep, the, if I could get two harvests out of them, that is a lot of money. That's like forty grand just in pineapple. See, so next year we're just planting pineapples. This is how we get a million for the for the house. Just plant pineapples, nothing else. Maybe pumpkins, all the high yield stuff. But yeah, as many thousand, because it's a thousand for the seed, and it is a bit of a risk. Because if you do have days where there's like a storm or something, you I think you can get away with one or two storm days, but generally not. And I could look in the library and try and work it out, but I'm not sure. But yeah, if I don't get much done today, do you know what? I've got to see those nature sprites right now. I can't, I can't deal with this. <laughs> the rest of the season. Doing all this myself is too much. 
Yeah, I might not get the butter maker sorted today. I might just leave that till tomorrow. That that would be fine. I don't mind that. Is my tea still warm? Oh, and it's Kai's birthday. No, ah. Goodness, I best get home and start on dinner. Losing track of time like this has become a bad habit of mine. No, I go see the nature sprites. Kaiser's open at five. So we'll go see him. I could give him a pineapple. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. I know that honey's all right for him, so. Right. Ask for help with watering. For seven days. That should take me right to the end of the season. Watering for seven days. <laughs> Water the crops for seven days. That's what you're meant to do, right? Yeah, that's right. So, uh, water the crops for seven days. Oh, no. No, no. Different days. Seven days. Yes. Sorry, I'm not reading everything out. It would take me forever if I read everything out. Why do I keep doing this? And then two harvesters. I love how they're always expecting food off me. Cheeky little rascals. It's, honestly, it's like, they're like my ferrets. I like my ferrets. It's like, hey, if you come to play or do food. That's pretty much what the sprites are. Harvesting for seven days. So we'll go and have a look and just make sure I've done everything right there. So water, water, seven, 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 harvest, seven, water, seven, harvest. Yeah, that all seems good. Wonderful. And they'll be so good at watering and harvesting eventually that I'll be able to take a couple of them off watering and, in, and put them on to um, other, other jobs. Right, so it's nearly five o'clock, which is going to be the perfect time to go to Kai's cafe. But I won't be able to see Huang today. That sucks, but it's fine. Oh, hello. Welcome. Yoshi, lab house life on the farm. You till in soil, plant and seeds, all that good stuff? Yep. Really? Cool. Glad to hear things are going well for you. It's weird knowing you're out there working hard just gives me the energy to work hard too. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So, you here for a bite to eat or are you just killing time? Hmm, your schedule opened up so you came to hang out and chat? Ah, oh, awesome. As you can see, it's not like I have any other customers. So a solid conversation sounds great to me. Come to think of it, I don't think I've asked you what you grow on your farm. What kind of crops have you grown? Tons of pineapples. Dude, really, no way. Pineapple is one of my most favorite foods ever, which I just so happen to have in my inventory, and it just so happens to be your birthday. If you end up growing a good crop, I'd seriously love you forever if you shared some with me. That is exactly what we're going to do now. Thanks, to be honest, it's kind of embarrassing to admit. I mean, folks tend to have strong opinions on pineapple. Only when it's on pizza. <laughs> I'm not asking you to give them to me for free, though. Promise? If you hook me up, I'll hook you up in return. Deal? I'll bend over backwards to help a bud who literally feeds my pineapple addiction. Trust and believe. Cool. All right, let's go out and I'll give him a... If that's his favourite food, then I'm I'm willing to try and give him a pineapple on his birthday. Oh, thanks. I'm surprised you even knew what season I was born in, yet alone the exact day. You rock. Oh, hey. While I'm thinking of it, do you know how to make popcorn? If you want to give it a try, I'll teach it. I've got loads of corn in my inventory. Yes. Super easy. All you need is corn in a frying pan. Heat it up. Bada bing, bada boom. Popcorn. See, told you it was easy. We'll have to try that. Wow, cool. Yoshi lab. Okay, so that's amazing. I can now apparently sell him pineapples. Possibly for more than they would have been worth otherwise. 
which is irritating because I just sold a huge crop, but I have another huge crop coming. So yes, and then next year as well. Um, so yeah, residence. And then try. Did we manage to get a good bump by giving a pineapple on his birthday? We did, wonderful. So if I've managed to do that in one year, I may be able to get another two on his birthday next year, if I can, as long as it doesn't have a storm or anything on that day. And giving him pineapples might actually help considerably as well. So we'll be maybe trying to do that. Um, you know, nothing much ever happens here. So it's kind of boring, but people are sure are nice. So if I give him a pineapple now, does he... Oh, wait, you already gave me something today. That's plenty, trust. I could not ask for more. Okay. Yo, looking for something to eat? But uh, you can't use your hands to eat while they're already holding something, you know. So I thought you said, like, he'd give me something in return for the pineapples. Maybe I can only give him one a day or something. I'm going to have to look into that because he definitely said something about hooking me up. As well as popcorn. But that's amazing. That was such a good bump in in uh, in liking. So now I'm just going to need to work on Huang for a bit. But Huang will be around in the autumn time. So Kai was a bit more of an important one anyway. From that perspective. So I've still got loads of stuff to do. I'm going to keep that pineapple on me though, I think. I'll sell, I'll sell some of the corn and maybe keep some and make it make popcorn and see what it looks like and, and what it does and whether it's good, whether it's worth it. Okay, so let's go sell. Oh, there's me like, I'm going to hang on to that pineapple. <laughs> Throw it straight in the sales bin. usually have oil so let's see if we can make it where is it you told me how to make popcorn i don't see it though oh there it is you know what where that went um so anyway i'm gonna make one i want to see what it's like Finish the popcorn. So, what's popcorn like? Gives you 30 stamina. Moon dumplings gives you 40. That's one corn. And a corn, it depends on how much the corn sells for. I know I can't ship that. I, I just happen to have it in my hand. I'm trying to ship other stuff. Well, that's intelligent, isn't it? So anyway, the, the one star corns sell for 85 each. So not as worth it as a moon dumpling to make popcorn. However, I might make a few just to see if any other recipes pop up. In the meantime, I've got a little fish there. A little fish, some weeds, some skeleton thing. So we've got a lot more corn to go. <laughs> it will be a miracle if I get everything watered and done in time. But I've already watered the pineapples, which is the most important thing. The second most important thing I'm feeling will be the pumpkins. So again, I plant in, uh, from left to right. That might be another thing to be considerate of, is that maybe there'll be days where I don't want to water everything, so maybe just having a massive pineapple crop wouldn't be the best. We'll have to see. It's super cool that Kai will like, because every summer I'll be growing pineapples and every year he'll be there wanting to trade them somehow. I'm not entirely sure what's, what will happen there, but... I think I will have enough for another couple of, like, even if I don't get the, these watered today, I probably will still have enough for one more, like, harvest. And the sprites will be here right till the end as well, so... Like I say, I'll make sure that the water, the pumpkins are watered before I harvest the tomatoes. 
And then I'll go collect the eggs and stuff. I'm not even going to bother with the weeding or anything like that, though. Today's a bit of a tough day. Bit of a tough day, bit of a rough day. I always put my pressure on myself to get everything done all the time. And honestly, it's not necessary. It's the same in real life. It's not always necessary. If you've got a really busy, heavy day, just be thankful for the things you did manage to get done. And don't worry too much about the things you didn't. I'll try my best. I'll even eat some popcorn to make it better. Quickly fill up again as well. I might manage it, you know. All the animals will be asleep when I'm trying to like talk to them and stuff though. I don't think the Harvest Goddess is getting a present today either. Okay, let's go and check on the animals and stuff. I might have to do the tomatoes tomorrow, but we'll see. looking happy and healthy oh they've all got fur today as well lullaby mona We're making some yarn today which will be lots of money again we really are doing quite well for money actually <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna stick the corn away while i'm in here I'm going to keep one. There's another 5,000's worth of corn. So the corn's just a bit more work than the pineapples. The pineapples, you just have to really look after them and they'll pay you back in droves. But you've got to do lots of harvests for the corn and the tomatoes. Oh, well, I saw the weed in my inventory. That's ir irritating. Um, oh, who did I speak to out of the animals? Gosh. Oh, I actually managed most of them. Okay, cool. I'll go back in there and I'll do the I'll do the shearing, but I may do it tomorrow instead. I think we might be a little bit like crazy behind otherwise. If I can get these harvested and watered, that would be kind of handy. It's typical, isn't it? <laughs> the, day, the day that the sprites ran out their contracts, everything just popped, including the pineapples. It's like, oh no. But it's been a lot easier since I got that uh, berry off Kappa. Because that's really helping me not pass out. I can like stay working practically all night and I don't pass out, which is really quite good. Okay, and I'm at 510. I might be able to water some of these. I'm dead quick. If I run for the barn, I might make it. Ah, oh, I didn't. <laughs> we had a huge harvest and then another huge harvest. And look at my house. I'm going to need to uh, put some of my trophies back away. Oh, we put them just there. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. So we have a kitchen and a fireplace now. We have, um, I think, a, a big bed. Oh, I might be able to do some upgrades, actually. I think I might be able to upgrade my bed now. I probably should, like, upgrade my cabinet and stuff as well. 
let's just pick up these and I'll be able to place them back on the shelf where they belong. Brandon's artwork goes there. And uh, my trophies are going to go here. I might rearrange them later, I'll just have to see. And uh, Karen's wine. And Doctor's Therapy merch. I've never worked out how to use that, if it is usable at all. I don't know if maybe having it in my inventory helps. I'm not sure that I, like, I, that I like this fireplace. I don't know. Maybe, though, we'll have to go and have a little look. Oh, thank goodness my sprites are going to be here today. It's going to be sunny again. Yay! And then I'm good for everything else. Right, so... Oh, if we got pumpkins today? I want to see how much they cost. Oh, right, they're not a vine crop. Oh. 336 for that one, though. Well, that's worth it. I didn't sell my tomatoes yesterday, either. And I want to make a bit of popcorn. And of course today is a Thursday, so that means that I'm probably going, I'm not going to be able to go until t tomorrow to get my butter maker. But that's fine. So you guys can all do that and I'm going to tidy up the field a little bit. And let all the animals out and I'll go and feed Squeezel. I don't think Squeezel got fed yesterday. Yesterday was such a crazy day though. I'm so sorry Squeezel that I am so bad at feeding you. <laughs> seem to affect the baby though <laughs> somehow whether that's just a balancing thing so many weeds yeah I'm gonna do something today that I've been meaning to do for ages and, uh, I've been, oh you know there's something new uh, there's gonna be new stuff for my house upgrade got the a full house comfortable living Trophies, total of 50,000 in my wallet at one time and having a second house renovation. There is a new product at the workshop. Your home renovation went smooth as butter, high grade butter even well. Ain't it a bit bigger and nicer now? Now you've got a bigger house, you could probably stick a bathroom in there if you want. I've got some other nice decorative stuff in stock to you. Drop on by and take a look. Maybe I should look at that before I spend all of my money on grass seeds. And this pot's open, I'm not sure. Let's go do all the eggs and stuff like that first. I didn't even milk my cows yesterday. I was literally, I was like, can I get to the barn in time? Run, run, run. And I didn't manage it. So we'll do some of that stuff today. It's, it's a little bit more chill now. Things were a little bit crazy. With the Moo Moo Festival and uh, the the... Con the sprites contracts running out. Now we've got them back on contract, it's cool. Is that all I want to sell? Yeah. And you are still little. Oops. I'm still going to talk to you all. Hello, Alison. Hello, Mona. Hello, Jin. Hello, Trist. And hello, Ixius. Right, I will shear the rabbits later when they're inside. I'm going to actually pick up all the grapes and stuff today and uh, I need to find something that I can give to... The well, actually that corn can be given to the Harvest Goddess, I guess. Why am I thinking that I needed to keep a pumpkin and they've just, like, stolen all my pumpkins and I probably needed to keep one for, like, Halloween or something? Oh well, maybe next year. <laughs> It certainly ain't gonna grow anymore now. I thought they were a vine crop. I genuinely did. I didn't realise that they were uh, just one one shots. But I'm probably gonna have a lot of money now. And that's the thing. I may not be so into the sprites harvesting my stuff next time round. 
I might be a bit more like I'm going to keep a few things because at the moment I'm desperate for money. I'm like, I need all these things. I need the butter maker. I need all these house upgrades. There's going to be loads of stuff I've got, no doubt. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That little field on the bottom is cool. It's fine. They do make their way down there. I would prefer it to be closer to their barn though. So much lumber here. Hey Harris, I never remember to give you presents, so there you go. What can I do for you? Um, renovations. We can get a bathroom with 300 lumber, 300 stone and 30,000 gold. Is that all you've got that's new? We can now have different coloured mailboxes, which is pretty cool. And um, we've got some different wallpapers. Nice. And some different, more refined floors. I like it, but at the moment, the bathroom would be the thing to try and save up for, I think. But it, it'll help recover stamina and relieve fatigue. It takes 30 minutes. Might be quite good. That might be quite good. Because I could like do the, the fields and everything and then come outside. But to be honest, my biggest problem, I've got the, the berry for the fatigue and I don't tend to get very fatigued anymore. And also, I tend to make a lot of food. So it's not as important, I think, honestly, as doing the grass. Like, I'm desperate to get that grass in the right place. Many thanks, I should have expected nothing less from you. You've done well to ascertain my personal preferences. I've got fireworks tomorrow. I don't know if the episode will last until tomorrow. I think it will. I think we've got one more day to do, actually. So that'll be really cute. I'm sorry, little bird. It's nice because every time I chop one of these stumps, it's like saving me like 300 gold. Because you've got to buy 50, you've got to spend 50 buying the lumber. So it's a big saving. Oh, come on, she lab. She, she clearly needs that bathroom, eh? I'm going to eat my popcorn. I can always take the, t the sticks with me and then I can lay them out on my farm somewhere and just chop them. Uh, is there anything else I want to do today? Um, a little bit of tidying up to do, honestly. A little bit of animal care and that's really it, I think, for today. Unless I go get get the butter maker no, can't do the butter maker today and can't do it tomorrow because it'll be a festival so it'll probably be like next episode maybe on the saturday that we'll get that done i'll pick these up as well like i can always again i can always just put them down later and uh sort them out but it seems like wherever they eat they just take away a, gr a grass randomly from here also that is not going to help if I can get that gone, that'd be useful. But having a big rock in the way of my grass is not handy. Whoa, shipping a lot today. Good, good, keep it up. Woof, look at the amount of money we got now. Okay, maybe I do have enough. <laughs> do a little bit of just chopping the grass back. I know, I'm a bit obsessive about it. Are you having fun just lying in the grass there? Little sprite. I just have no energy left. None at all. Okay, I'm going to go in my house and put my lumber away. But yeah, there's definitely things I can buy, like the, the bathroom will probably go like to that side of the house or something. I, I don't know. 
I think the bathroom is going to make things is is going to rearrange things a bit. And that's why it looks a bit weird right now. So anyway. More lumber. So I'm gonna need about 300 lumber. And uh, I think something like 150 or so stone, I, I think. Can't remember. Uh, I'm also gonna just, I'm just gonna eat like some moon dumplings because I don't like having my stamina that low. I feel like I'm just gonna pass out any minute. So. I just pop in and use the shipping bin here. And I need to put away some of that uh, fodder that I got. I really should have put the stones away, but it's fine. And also the grass, actually. But yeah, the shipping's getting really cool right now. Um, so the grass is looking amazing. Let me just chop that down. But yeah, I'm just going to save my money at the moment and just decide what I want to do with it. Actually, I need to chop those ones. So I kind of want to go around this way. So that's what I really want to do. So I, I, I kind of think I want to fill the grass in maybe slightly more manually. Looks like that storm gave me quite a lot of nasty boulders, really. How are we looking now? So the grass is almost all the way across the bottom there and it will start growing upwards, but I think I could probably give it a bit of a helping hand. We at the moment have tomatoes, corn and pineapples still growing and that's what I'll probably... I always get a little bit like less worried about things at the end of the season. I'm just like, yeah, we'll just let everything that, that I've already planted grow. I'm not going to re replant things. We're going to just chill out. <laughs> Terrible for it. I know. I know this. You know this. So I think we should get an early night tonight because uh, we've got an important day tomorrow with fireworks and stuff. I don't know if I need to go and like ask Brandon to go with me. I'll see if I can catch him tomorrow, but mm, I'm a bit worried about that actually. I'm just thinking maybe like I need to send him an invitation or something. I hope not. And now for tomorrow's weather. The forecast falls for the clear skies and mild temperatures. Enjoy the sun, folks. Well, there's not much I can do about it now if there is, if I do need to go and ask him. So we'll just have a nice day tomorrow. So we shipped 25k yesterday. That's amazing for one day. Wow, we're really starting to get there. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. Um, the fireworks festival will be at 6 p.m. at Mineral Beach. So we'll go down there and we'll see. We'll see who who comes along. Um, big beds available at the workshop. So your home renovation's all done. I don't think I can make it any bigger. But now you just got to get a big bed, so you got space for that special someone. It'd be awful embarrassing to have to squeeze two people into one teensy bed. So best come get one sooner rather than later. <laughs> okay. So we want to get a big bed. I don't think I'll even be able to go in there today, though, will I? It's festival day. Everything's shut on a festival day. So that's why I'm going to keep my money. I'm going to do my chores, and then we're going to do the fireworks thing. And then next episode, if I, I'll make more decisions on what I need to do. Probably need to just hoe these back in a little bit uh, for next season. Put all that away. There's weeds everywhere. Ah! There's also grapes and honey to pick up, which is always useful for presents. What I probably need to do as well is keep something like a few of the pineapples to give to Kai next summer. 
But then I'm also like, but I want to sell them because they sell for such a good price. It's such a, such a, such a quandary. But I am getting quite rich now, so maybe, maybe keeping things back like that would be kind of handy. Did I let them out today? No, I did not. So I'm going to go and just run around getting... Doing the weeding and stuff. I hate weeds so much. They make my farm not grow properly. We're doing really well. Oh, there's two weeds still left. Look, there's one sneaky one down here. And then there's also a sneaky one over here. All right, let's go see the harvest goddess. Let's go see if we can talk to Brandon and if we can invite him, like, at all. Oh, he's here, cool. It would please me to visit Forgotten Valley sometime, have you heard of it? I don't know what that means. Maybe I'll be on one of those special days. Okay, so let's throw her some corn today. Well, if it isn't she lap, I'd love you to come see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Oh my, I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Bye! Cool. We're done with that. I should put my mithril away as well. There's no reason for me to have that out. But I only have enough mithril for one more upgrade, interestingly enough. really should have um, dealt with the cows before in the morning because it's I like to normally deal with them in the evening but today there's not a festival in the daytime the, de the festivals like in the nighttime so I probably should have gone and done that earlier well at the very least I'll get the milk and stuff I got all the eggs and that's the main thing and we might I'll do I'll do some shearing as well okay so now Rue is back Rue actually needs to get pregnant thinking about it I've got all the fleeces today I'm grief it's gonna be a good day for fleeces all the fleeces down here as well All the fleeces and the eggs and so much money for me every day it's really good right. I did want to make some popcorn but okay so we want to make mayonnaise and uh, we want to make I think yarn out of everything yarn is a bit of a difficult one I've noticed this throw anything in I just wanted to check some prices so 400 for those 740 for those and 700 for that one so yeah the yarn will be more in every instance oh that's a mayonnaise maker not a yarn maker people have been telling me I need to keep some yarn by for winter apparently as well So now let's sell. So I'm going to have five balls of yarn, a load of mayonnaise. Oh, we didn't make cheese. Rats. Need to do that. It's five grand. It's just like the game is, it gets to this point where the game's just throwing money at you, doesn't it? So that's why I guess you need that house to see you up for. I'm getting close to time now. Time that I'll need to go, so 
Let's have a look who I need to... Oh, I didn't speak to any of the animals. Rats. Um, so let's see if we can speak to a couple of them. So let's speak to Rue. Squeezel and Cthulhu and Rose. Right. Oh no, there was an extra fluff on the floor. That's Bubbles, not Rose. Ah. Oh, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> Off I go. I'll care at the Fluffy Festival, but oh well. Well, the Fluffy Festivals for now, anyway, are going to be rabbit ones. So it's fine. Let's go. Brandon's here. Sheila, how long are you going to aimlessly wander about? Best choose your spot before the glorious view escapes you. Should I invite them to watch the fireworks festival with me? Yes. You'd like to watch them from here? Oh, uh, all right. I don't particularly mind, I suppose. Oh! That's gorgeous. Ah, glittering flowers of light filling the sky from end to end. The pyrotechnicians have created true art. That's my first festival I did with Brandon! Watching fireworks from the beach is the best. It feels so magical. And that is the next day, so that's the end of the episode. Oh, that's so cute! So, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more. Like, maybe me getting the bathroom, maybe me getting... using the fireplace in the winter, all these different things that I've got to do now. Uh, me getting my butter maker, baking cookies. But anyway, um, if you want to see all that, then please do subscribe, I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.